Hey y'all, I know we're going to, sorry, kiddo interrupted, but I'm not going to restart my little, hey y'all. Um, so I thought I would do a little vlog, I'm chilling out in bed, because my back and my, uh, my, my daughter is giving me a weird look, which is basically a look, because uh, all her looks are weird. Anyway, because my, the left side of my back and like my boot, booty cheek leg area is hurting, kind of like sciatica, so, uh, walked around a little bit, stop. Clickety Put your poker chips away. We're going to play poker here shortly. Anywho. This sounds so much like um, So, I don't really have much to report. Just Except that, that she sucks and her daughter is the best person ever. Why are you hi. looking that way? Because the thing is that Oh, way. hi. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, yeah, I suck and my daughter's the best person ever. I'm anyway. Sarah. So, they know who you are. <laughs> um, so, I, yesterday, and there's the dog, a little bit of jealousy going on. Yesterday, um, I was in the ER all night, all day, not all night, uh, what was it? It was like one thirty or something when I went in. Yeah, one uh, forty. She was with me, and, uh, we left about nine o'clock. I got um, Wendy's like Was... Eight. You know, I had the heart condition. Be quiet. And it um, causes chest pain sometimes that my meds don't help. So I went, and instead of the usual, they usually just uh, check to make sure it's not a heart attack and all that. So I do blood work and all that, and they were extremely, excuse my daughter making weird faces. They were extremely busy with flu, a lot of flu people. But, um... They, instead of the, the usual, which is morphine, and just watching me to make sure everything's okay, they gave me fentanyl, two doses of it over about an hour's time, and after the second dose, I was feeling, uh, the pain was tolerable. I've learned to ignore this child, um, so she You see that tooth? It's like deformed. Your face is deformed. Love you. Anyway. I'll go play Batman. Oh, you go play Batman. So, y'all anyway. be jealous, folks. She's such a dork. I got Batman and you don't. So, um, anyway, so I um hung out in in Texarkana um until I felt okay to drive and then drove home last night. So, um, but feeling better. This morning, uh, we saw Sarah's new psychiatrist. Uh, we went back to Texarkana. It's a, it's about a 50 mile round trip. And, um, I'm getting used to the trip. I don't like the trip. I hate driving anymore. I wish I had a chauffeur. But, um, um, it, it's worth it, I guess. But, uh, we saw her, uh, new psychiatrist. And, um, I highly recommend it, um, uh, he, he is, he is so, so good. He's, he's a young guy, so, um, you know, fresh out of school kind of thing. When I say young, I'm talking, um, you know, 30, maybe, younger, perhaps, but, um, extremely knowledgeable on the conditions that, or uh, issues that she has, um, so, uh, and knows, uh, because of, uh, her stomach, she's got stomach issues, he is trying a new medication for her, um, that has a lower chance of it having, uh, or causing issues, because some medications, he said, um, you know, 25% chance of stomach issues, um, nausea or vomiting or whatever and um you know her anxiety causes that anyway as well as whatever she's got going on um which I think the 27th or the 22nd is her next appointment with our PCP and I'm going to ask him for a referral to a stomach doctor because the, the medications we need to find out if it is IBS or uh, if it is a, a gluten intolerance, or what exactly is going on. 
um, with her because I don't like just trying med after med after med and it not working good or well enough. But anyway, so he is starting a new medication, which is, I haven't gotten a text um, yet. My pharmacy texts me when uh, prescriptions are ready, but um, it, hopefully it will be ready to pick up today so she can get started on it. And we're going to try um, um, a lower dosage to start off with. And then in two weeks, once it's in her system better, um, try the higher dosage twice a day. And then she'll have another appointment um, in a month. So that'll give time for it. Also, he gave me some papers with therapists because when we moved to New Boston, um, we, uh, she quit seeing her old therapist, uh, but it wasn't, she wasn't progressing. Um, uh, she liked her. I liked her. She's very good at what she does. Um, so that wasn't the issue, but the issue was, you know, there's more to calming anxiety than just breathing and grounding yourself. Um, it just, it just wasn't getting beyond that. So. You know, but anyway, um, also, I finally, for my crafting friends, I finally uh, visited, and it's right down the road from my old house where um, Sarah's dad still lives, um, but where we lived, I lived for nearly 15 years, um, right down the road several years ago, 13 years, matter of fact, because I asked the lady, they opened up a little um, scrapbooking store. Well, at the time, I wasn't interested in scrapbooking or crafting the paper crafts. And um, But since I have started, I keep telling myself I'm going to stop by. But thinking that it's a smaller store, everything would be super expensive. And believe me, some of the stuff was much higher than it would be online or going um, to Hobby Lobby or, or even Walmart, you know, and getting things. But, um, I, I got, th all I got, it was three and I don't even have it, but I'm, I can't really show you anyway because I have ideas for two different people. And if I showed the paper and that I got, they would know who they are. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but, um, in the future, not now, but, um, and then Sarah, of course, um, got some, um, small, metallic kind of beads um which I or my crafting friends would use um in shaker pockets uh, but she wants to add it to slime I, I don't think it's they're so small I don't think they're going to do much um but it was $1.99 you know so it's not a big deal plus the lady had her puppy in there so that made the trip worthwhile but it was really funny that I'd lived there so long and passed that place for 13 years well 12 years, because I've lived here a year, um, in April, the end of April, <laughs> but, uh, and never stopped in, and they also have classes, I didn't think the building was that big, it doesn't look that big on the outside, um, but I noticed, uh, the class room area in the back, and she told me that, um, uh, you know, every few weeks they offer, uh, certain classes from stamping to, um, card making to, um, just all kinds of stuff. So I, uh, signed up or I gave her my email so she can add me to the, um, list to contact me, uh, on their classes and stuff. Probably similar to like Hobby Lobby. It has, uh, little classes. The dog, if you hear that noise, the dog, she, he, he, I said she, he likes to scratch into the blanket like he's uh, he's making his nest. But anyway, um, so bless you. So so that's what we did today. And now I'm hurting and I hate that. But it's not um, a usual. I mean, the back thing is always usual. But I just hope I'm not getting sciatica issues now because I don't want that. Um, just one more thing to add to my list. But anyway, so today today was definitely. Um, can a good day because I I am so tired of dealing with doctors that frustrate me. Now if I could just get my cardiologist straightened out, uh, 
wherever he or she may be, um, and pulmonary doctor as well, and get myself back into some counseling. Um, things things will be all right. But anyway, so I just want to come on here and just let you know how my day went. I uh, was sent out a couple of uh, cards and um, to people. I'm just trying to spread a little bit of cheer. Um, not necessarily because of, you know, it's Valentine's Day or whatever, but just to let people know I appreciate them. Um, you know, because... I love uh, my followers, my family on here. And as usual, I made at least a 10 minute uh, video. But, so that's all. That's my vlog, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and God bless, and do something good for somebody. Alright? Bye.